Hello. Um, we're going to be talking about whether you're an abundant or a stingy actor. And I know no one wants to be the stingy one. Um, so I, it's probably going to be an uncomfortable conversation. I think I'm going to irritate a lot of you or most of you. And I apologize in advance, but it's kind of a tough love message for today. So I'm just going to go for it. So um, I think that if you um, are asking yourself this question, and actually I would love to get your initial take on how do you feel about yourself as an actor? Do you think that you're mostly generous or do you feel that you're mostly stingy maybe or sometimes stingy or sometimes generous? I would love to get a feel um, because I think that most actors um, would love to be generous actors and would love to see themselves and think of themselves as generous actors and are mostly seeing when um, actors are stingy, it's not themselves. They'll mostly see, and you might recognize yourself there, that you're sometimes working with some actors and you're feeling some stinginess. And let me first a little bit talk about what I mean by generous and stingy. Uh, so a generous actor, when you're being generous, you'll feel like you're really open, that you're available, that you're vulnerable, that you're there for your character, that you're there for the story, that you're really listening, that you're really taking the other person in, that you're really engaged, invested, committed, like your heart is fully there for your character. And casting directors can feel that. That's actually one of the barometers that they'll have is whether you're being abundant or stingy right? So, um, or generous or stingy, abundant or generous, meaning the same thing. So when you're showing up and your heart and your energy is all there for your character and for the story, you're being generous. You're giving yourself, you're in service of the character and the story, right? And when you're being stingy, it means you're protecting yourself. You're really trying to control how you're going to come off. You're going to try and look good. You're going to think of the outcome. You're going to try and please in a way. You're going to try and book. You're there to take. Another way to put it is as an actor, are you there to give or are you there to take? And again, I'm pretty sure that most of you will say, no, no, I'm, I'm there to give. I really love to give of myself. I give myself to the character. I give myself to the process. I give. And because I'm sitting on the other side of things and I'm coaching such a big community of actors, I realize that when people come into this work and start to get instinctive and free and work through their resistance, most actors are actually somewhat or totally stingy are totally into the taking part of things. And let me explain it a little more so you may recognize that you may be doing this sometimes so that you want to be able to catch it, be aware of it, be conscious and go, oh my God, okay, I'm doing that. And the first step, of course, is to acknowledge it and to be aware of it so that you can do whatever is going to be necessary to move through. If your energy is more into booking the job then into showing up for your character, you're being stingy. If your energy is more into looking good than into not knowing but just being there for the character's needs, you're stingy. You're taking. So if you're expecting, if you can recognize in yourself that most of the time or sometime even, you would like this industry, this profession to love you to give you something, to recognize you, to be of service to you, then you're being stingy. You're, you're there to take. Whereas you want to be in a position where you can be there to give. If you're a giver, as an artist or as an actor, you're coming not for your ego. You're coming to give yourself. You're in service of the character and the story. And you don't care whether you're booked or not. You don't care whether people like you or not. You don't care whether you please or not. Because your heart is into the giving. And whoever's going to like that is going to take it. Whoever's not going to like it, that is not going to take it. And it doesn't affect you because you came with the highest gift you have to give. Which is your truth, your authenticity, your instinct, your freedom, and your open heart. So do you see the difference? Do you feel that part of your energy when you're going to an audition or when you're on set is there to be seen? Is there to be recognized? 
is there to be loved, is there to please, then you're being stingy. You're there to take. When the most honest relationship you can have with your art is that you're there to give. It's a little bit like in a relationship, in a love relationship. Are you wanting your partner to love you? Is that what you're looking for? Or are you showing up because you want to love them? They're two very different energies, right? One is toxic is you're in the relationship because you want to take something from it. You want it for you. And the other one is because you're wanting to give. And of course, as it so happens, the more you're going to try to give, the more you're going to show up to give yourself, the more you're going to get, right? Because then there's something to be exchanged. When you come in and you try to pull the blanket on you and keep everything for yourself, for your ego, no one wants to interact because you're not really showing up with an open heart. Your heart is closed. You're coming guarded, protected, attacking, manipulative. You're trying to please and it's not authentic, right? So I hope that makes sense. Now, why do we do that? Well, the reason why you do that is you've been conditioned. You've been so conditioned outside of yourself. You've been so programmed to think, to feel, to behave like from 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 the very first day you were born until now to behave a certain way, to think a certain way, to feel a certain way, to think a certain way. So you have not been modeled to be generous and to give because right from the get go, everything you saw was people asking you to not be yourself. So they weren't giving you the love for being you. They were taking it all away. So you haven't been modeled generosity. So you don't know how to show up in a generous way. You don't know because all you know is people are going to take things away from me. So I need to protect and guard. So there's no way for you to be generous 100% because you've been conditioned not to. Does that make sense? So your cup is a little bit empty and you're showing up at the audition hoping that they will fill your cup. Hoping to be validated. Hoping to be loved. Hoping to be booked. Hoping to please so that you feel good about yourself. But when you do that, you're, you're coming and you're, you're trying to suck other people's energy. And it's not what is expected of an artist. It's for you to give all your energy. And that's how energy comes back, right? So you want to make sure that you um, do the work of unconditioning yourself, of working through that programming so that you can be your pure, authentic self and you can just show up to give. Show up to give your truth, your freedom, without being influenced by the fact that people will like it or not. So that you can show up in a pure, authentic way. And that you can show up for your character in this particular way because you want to. Because your heart wants it. Because your soul wants it. Not because you think that by showing up for your character this way, you will get the validation and the approval and the booking. Because the second you do that, you're trying to take when you're trying to take, no one wants to give it to you. You want to be coming and giving, right? And in order to be able to come from that place that's giving, that's completely open, you want to make sure that you can go back to your true self, to your pure self, the one you were born as before conditioning happened. So you want to unlearn that conditioning, undo the layers of conditioning until you can be your pure, pure self, sorry. When you can be your pure self, then you can only come from a place of giving. You can only be generous because you have a self to give. If you're only conditioned, you have to protect yourself. You have to walk around guarded and attacking because, because you don't have a self in the first place. It was taken away from you. So how could you possibly give it? All you have is conditioning and programming, right? Okay, so I hope this makes sense. Let us know if you have any questions about it. If this makes sense, um, you look into it, send us a message, let us know. Bye, guys.